is up YouTube, it's your boy Riku the best, better than the rest, aka the dark net, you call me that, you are good for today, see I told you I kept my word, for today only you guys, on all my videos, my streams included, you guys are good for today, coming at you with another DBC Dot Com Battle discussion video, what I really wanted to talk about was, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, being an end type obviously, well he's already been like announced and stuff and V jump scan and everything a little bit late on it on JP Dokkan as a Super Saiyan 3 category leader so this includes the angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku thank god they made him angel so he won't interfere with the other Super Saiyan 3 Gokus being an AGL and strength who will receive a Z what was it a Z extreme awakening yes and that comes out um uh, probably the was it this weekend it comes out soon probably next few days or whatnot so what I really want to talk about is if you guys should summon on him personally I may not summon on him yes he's a category leader he may give the same multiplier or similar multiplier like obviously ultimate Gohan or Golden Frieza or he could have a multiplier like Omega Shenron or Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta multipliers such as Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta where they have 150 across the board but ultimate Gohan and Golden Frieza have 170 for two stats and 130 for the other stat or it could have something like all transiting Goku, but he's not fully awakened, which I'm pretty sure this Braddock will receive a Dokkan awakening, a transcendent version of himself to go up to 120. Pretty sure he would, and he won't have a leader skill like Kefla either, with two key and only 120%. Nah, that won't cut it. Pretty much like the Gogeta and Omega Sharon or freaking Golden Frieza, and Golden Frieza, and ultimate gohan strength version honestly i personally would not summon on him because i have the category leaders i needed they pretty much gave us a free category leader kefla for uh patara fusion yeah for a patara fusion and yeah because they had like a long extended maintenance for that one day half the day you couldn't get on and then when you're able to get on the banners are gone you couldn't do anything you couldn't summon it even if you wanted to so they gave us 300 stones for that day for jp and the gssr banner was kefla's banner and she's a category leader for Patara Fusion users. So that was pretty much a free category leader because it was guaranteed to get one of the, what was it, five, six feature cards? And it was 300 stones. You're going to get Kefla. And well, if you already have the previous category leaders prior to Kefla, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Omega Sharon, Ultimate Gohan, or Golden Frieza, I feel like I'm missing one category leader. I'm pretty sure there's another one out there. I can't think of them right now. If you have any one of those, you honestly don't need. But let me just, quotation: You don't need Super Saiyan Three Bardock. But if you if it's something that you want, if it's like Super Saiyan Three is like your favorite form and you like Bardock as well, then yeah, I mean you can go ahead and go for it. Good luck to pulling Bardock. But personally, I think Bardock is a cool character. I don't care for the Super Saiyan Three form in general. I have special reasons for Gotenks and Angel Goku. I don't know. I always like Gotenks. Gotenks is just goofy. He's just strong for no damn reason. And Angel Goku, I have 100%. He's one of my first 100% units on JP alongside a Super Vegito. So, he got a special place in my heart. But other than that, nah, I personally would not summon for Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. His category is very limited. Of course, they will come out with, uh, uh, you guys, I did this video before about a Super Saiyan 3 Team Gohan. It was a Super Saiyan 3 Trunks for uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Yes. And alongside of having like i said angel goku and then you have the super saiyan 3 goku who happens to be agl and agl and strength who are getting this ex extreme z awakening and you have other people in the category physical super saiyan 3 gotenks lesser form tech super saiyan 3 gotenks you know the physical one you have super saiyan 3 uh, teen gotenks who don't come from the regular dragon ball heroes banner not the super dragon ball heroes but the regular dragon ball heroes and i'm pretty sure it's not the super saiyan yeah Super Saiyan 3 Strength Vegeta, the one that mitigates all damage for like seven turns, and he has a chance to stun. He has he gets a big boost in potential system as well because he's a Dokkan Festival exclusive unit before Super Vegito. And I think it's before Super Vegito. Uh let me know if I'm wrong. And this I'm I'm trying to think of all the possible Super Saiyan 3 units. All uh, I mean you have the other Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, the tech one, the really older one, is not really as good. And I don't think he's a Dokkan Fest exclusive. I don't think he is he could be could be wrong but he's really not that good to begin with you know there's limited options for a super saiyan 3 units because there's not that many in the game and they're bringing out two more along with bardock could be in a different banner which i'm pretty sure it is probably a super dragon ball heroes banner with the previous dragon ball hero characters and then you will have bardock in his own banner dokkan fest exclusive with like i don't know other bardock units tech bardock physical bardock and bardock as world tournament they could probably throw him in there who knows agl bardock stuff like that when i mean agl i'm at the sr bardock so 
Summon form if you want. You don't need Bardock at all. If you like Super Saiyan 3, go for it. If you like Bardock, if you're a big fan of Bardock, go for it. I'm personally not. I don't care for either one of them. So I have all the category leaders that I want at the moment. I would like to have Golden Frieza. I want Gohan more than anybody, but that's not this video. That's not this video. So if you want Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, go for it. It's not something you need at all, obviously. I mean, what card do you need? If you have one category leader, you don't necessarily need any more at all. But, you know. Like Bardock, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to tell you not to summon, although I did literally at the beginning of this video. But, of course, you had to hear my explanation of why I said that. Um, all right, that was pretty much it. My Twitter's going to be over there. We get the best fight team. Make sure you follow me over Twitter and give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you're going to summon for him, dude, all I'm going to say is good luck. That's my fool right there. Don't judge me. All I'm going to say is good luck. Hopefully, you guys pull him. Hopefully, you guys pull the other two Super Saiyan 3 units, the Trunks and the Team Gohan as well for our support units not even support units just optimal units for his team since he has such a limited category just like shadow dragon saga and uh patara fusion yes thank you guys for watching and peace